Elizabeth from Product Sense here. Big Commerce just filed to go public and they are the major rival for Shopify. So I thought I would give them a go and check out their feature set, check out the first time user experience. Let's get started. So I did the Google search for Big Commerce. I get onto the page and it says, create an unfair advantage. What spectacular wording. And they're already starting to give me case studies. They're like, here are some quotes, here are some case studies of how you increased the average cart size by 30%, how you increased actual purchasing by 50% because you're mobile optimized and so on. And I was like, this is beautiful. You are buying me into the end product. I will stay on this platform for weeks, months, just so I can get to these beautiful metrics. I'm already becoming very gritty with your product. I went into the enterprise product demo. It was 17 minutes long. They said, watch it at your leisure. Definitely skipped through the last two thirds, but I got to the end and I was like, oh, could I have 3,500 enterprise customers? That's exactly why you would have that relationship with someone. They were starting to talk about their back end, and I was like, this is pretty common terminology, but also if you don't spend as much time in code, you won't know that language. So it is interesting to me that I didn't know who their persona was. <laughs> the colors all throughout were also beautiful. I saw a purple blue um, that was deep and dark. There was also a black and, uh, yeah, landing page, super beautiful. Quick note on name, everyone would like more customers. So like big commerce, what an excellent, excellent name that is. So I see that big commerce has a 2017 best e-commerce solution award. And my first initial thought is, wow, 2017, that's a while ago. Things progress very fast in the e-commerce space, especially now in COVID. Not a relevant award anymore. Glad you got it, but wouldn't maybe lead with that. So big commerce pricing, I'm seeing it's 30, it's 80, and then it's 300. Um, that's a lot. I was looking for where the features uh, separated, where the gaps were, and I was like, customer group, segmentation, abandoned, card saver, that's really cool persistent card, that's really cool. And then I looked at the online sales per year, 50K up to 180K, that's a really specific number, up to 400K. And then the 2.9% transaction, the 2.5% transaction. So these seem to be pretty standard e-commerce prices. And I do think that big, big commerce is definitely a little more expensive than something like Squarespace or Wix but I don't know how they compare to Shopify or Magento. So maybe so they they do seem a little cheaper for the bulk that you're getting. Now let's look at the FTUX, the first time user experience. When I come onto the platform, what are you gonna give me in the one minute so that I can feel successful and keep going on? Or what are you gonna give me in the five minutes? What will make me say, wow, that is so cool. I absolutely, would need to do so much more work to be able to get to that magic moment that you made so easy. The thing with big commerce is that there were a lot of options when I came onto the platform. There were 17 options on the left side. And then there were a bunch of cards. There was one, two, three, and onboarding, a little bit of an onboarding. The One of the first cards that I saw was set up my email. So Big Commerce and G Suite had partnered and I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. I pay $6 a month for my email through Squarespace and that's on top of them actually hosting it. So I'm like, wait, how much would it be if I had Big Commerce host it? And one of the super quirky parts was that they asked me to upgrade my trial right then, which I thought was really crappy UX. Like you should not put that card in. If I can't, if I'm on a trial, it's not useful to me. I haven't seen any value on the platform. I'm absolutely not going to upgrade at this point. I spend a good two to three minutes just going through the platform being like, my Lord, to enter in these descriptions and these icons and these SKUs and the storefront and the templates. And I'm like, this is a lot of stuff. Isn't there a fun little exporter out there 
my assumption is that the person who's going to get the most amount of value from Bing Commerce is someone who already has a storefront on Squarespace, on Wix, on Magento, on Shopify. And you just want them to take that stuff and give it over to Big Commerce so that they can see the difference immediately. So where's my beautiful export button? They should have made this, they could have made this much easier. So the one minute magic moment, totally gone. It did not, was definitely not there. They overloaded me with a lot of stuff. And the five minute magic moment, I saw my storefront. I played around with templates. I went through a lot of options. It wasn't like it was complex. It was that it was a lot. I understood what each of the options were, the, all the all the features that were on Big Commerce, but it's a lot of work. And I knew that this was not going to be a super easy 30 minute or even 10 hour setup. This was going to be a good week plus worth of work. When you have a trial that's only 15 days, that's too short of a period of time. So I found that one minute magic moment, meh. Five minute magic moment, kinda there. The grit score, how gritty do I need to be to retain value on this platform? Did I receive a success moment on the one minute or the five minute? Something that I was like, oh my gosh, this is wow. And if I am spurred on by that success, then how much time am I going to need to invest in this platform to get to some beautiful magic moment? And my grit score for this is 10. <laughs> I knew I was going to need to put in 10 plus hours worth of effort just to make it work for my business. And I thought that this was really disappointing given that they had so many amazing features. So great score is super high for big commerce, unfortunately. Oh my God, you made it to the end. That's amazing. And thanks so much. Hopefully you like this video on big commerce. We're playing around with a couple things over here at Product Mindset and one of those could be an e-commerce product. So I was really excited to try it out. If you found this useful, please, please, please subscribe, comment, do all the things. But most importantly, just if you have a product that you would like to be reviewed, give us a shout out at judgment day at productmindset.xyz. I'm looking forward to hearing all about you guys and uh, thanks so much for staying on with me.